And this is improve your posture exercise series and number two if you haven't watched the first one and please check it out i'll put a link in down below so you can watch it later and if you're new to my channel my name is taro iwamoto i am a feldenkrais practitioner i help people recover from injuries and improve functions and athletic performance. And on my channel, I share movement tips, strategies, and exercises that help improve your functions and the quality of your life. So please subscribe and if you haven't already. And let's get to the exercise, okay? So this is the second one. And, oh, by the way, um, this is the second one, but, um, you don't have to do the first one and it's not it doesn't have to be done in that order so you can start with this one or you can start from the first one it really doesn't matter so anyways uh, and just like the last time and we are going to start the lesson with the body scanning and then if you're new to uh, do this exercise it, we can do it right now here okay so the body scan First, what we need uh, is yoga mat or the blanket. You just need a floor space so you can lie down. And ideally, nice farm floor. That would be better for this exercise, okay? And instead of a uh, very soft uh, mattress uh, or something like that, okay? Uh, but if, if the, uh, the soft surface, the, the uh, mattress is the only place you can do the exercise, uh, that's okay, so you can do that. Um, but I do prefer yoga mat on the hardwood floor or the carpeted floor. Uh, that's that's just my preference. So, anyways, let's begin. And with the scanning, we'll do it very quickly. You know, lie down on your back, and if you're okay to lie on your back with the legs straight, with the arms by your side, and please lie down. And if you need any support underneath the head or if you need to bend your legs for the comfort of your back, you may do that, okay? But if you're okay, have your legs straight, okay? And close your eyes and just feel the weight of your pelvis as you're lying down on your back and sense which side of the pelvis has more weight and feels closer to the ground. And then feel the space behind your back how much space there is behind your back and you feel the how the spine contacts the ground from the lower parts of the spine all the way up to the neck and you notice what part of the spine touches uh, touches the floor and what part of the spine that doesn't touch the floor and I usually take uh, three to five minutes to scan uh, my contact before you start the exercise and then at the end of the exercise you'll come back to the scan so that you can feel the difference before and then after the exercise all right so now that i've done the scanning I, I i have a pretty good sense of how my spine and my body is touching the floor how much uh so how much contact my body has the floor and then now i'm going to come up to sit on the floor Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll face this way. So with this exercise, it's very simple. You're going to sit, and then you're going to take your hands just below the knees, each knees, right? And then have your feet somewhat closer to you, if not too far away, not too close. Okay, right about there. All right, and then from here, so first movement is you're going to roll the pose back and it kind of starts to round your back a little bit and lower your head and then slowly begin to roll the pose forward and begin to lengthen the spine and come up and come forward a little bit and stay there for a few seconds three to five seconds and begin to roll the pose back and rounding my spine and lowering the head and stay there and start to roll the pelvis forward and lengthening the spine okay, and, and try not to really hyperextend your neck 
Okay, so you're lengthening the spine and to look forward. Not upward, not downward, but look forward. Hold it and let go. Roll in the pelvis back. And roll the pelvis forward to lengthen the spine and hold it there. Okay, and as you do that, I do breathe out. And I roll my pelvis back. And as I roll my pelvis forward and lengthen my spine, it starts to breathe in and then breathe out. Okay. And after doing these movements in 10 to 20 times, and you can just do rest for a little bit. Now I've done my first one and then the second one, same place, okay, the hands, hands below the knees, starting here. And this time, rolling the pelvis back and rounding my spine and sliding my feet away from my hips a little bit, but keeping the hands still on the knees. And then as I'm rolling my pelvis forward and lengthening my spine, I'm starting to slide my feet towards my hips. Hold it for three to five seconds, and then roll the pelvis back and rounding my spine, lowering the head and sliding the feet away. Slide your feet towards my hips and roll the pelvis forward and lengthen my spine and hold it three to five seconds. And do this one. Do this one about ten to twenty times. And after you're done, ten to twenty times and rest. So the next one, I'm going to turn just a little bit sideways so you can see it better. And now have both hands, both hands uh, under, uh, below the, my one knee, okay? I'm doing it with my left knee. And now I am doing, okay, let's go back a little bit, you can see. Okay, I'm rolling my pelvis back and then sliding my left foot away from myself. And then as I'm starting to roll my pelvis forward, I'm starting to slide my left knee and left foot, excuse me, towards my left hip and lengthen my spine. Okay, so I'm slightly shifting and moving towards my left knee instead of coming straight to the middle. Okay, this way. And then rolling the pelvis back and then slide my left foot away from the hip, keeping the hands attached to the knee, roll the pelvis forward, slide my left foot towards my hip, lengthen the spine, hold it, and back. Okay, I'm going to change the angle so you can see from both angles here and here. Hold it. After done about 10 to 20 times on this leg, and then I'm going to change over to the right side. Doing the same thing, roll the pelvis back, slide my right foot this time away from myself, and then rolling my pelvis forward, and slide my right foot towards my right hip. Hold it, three to five seconds. And be sure that you don't hold your breath as you do that movement. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Okay. So now that I've done okay, uh, both sides. And that's it. Really simple. Right? And then I'm going to once again lie on the mats. Put the legs straight if you're okay with that and have your arms by your side and rest. Wind down on your back. Okay. And then once again you feel the contact of your pelvis and feel the contact and the space behind your back. Okay. 
anything has changed and from the beginning to now, is there more space behind your back or there's less space behind your back? There is more contact. Does the spine have more contact with the floor or less contact with the floor? What do you notice? Okay, and then you're done. You come up to sit or stand and notice your posture as you're sitting or you're standing. Notice any changes in the way that you're sitting without really consciously thinking about your posture, changing your posture, anything. And most likely you'll probably notice some changes. So that's the end of the exercise. It's very, very simple, right? And you start with the scanning, body scanning, a few minutes, and then the exercise will be sitting here. First, with the both legs here, rolling the pelvis back, forward, back, and forward, and then adding the slide in the feet away and towards with the rolling the pelvis back and forward, and then going to the one side and going to the other side. Okay? 10 to 20 times on each uh, movement. And lie down on your back and scan again, and just to notice some changes. And that's it. Very simple. And I'd like you to uh, get a feedback from you and what did you think and what did you notice and any changes. Okay? And so if you have any questions, um, any comments, I'd love your feedback and you can just leave your comment and, uh, and I'll get back to you. And there are more exercise videos that are coming and uh, uh, more talks on the, uh, the topics related to exercises and uh, injuries and sports performance uh, will be posted. So stay tuned and um, if you haven't already subscribed and please, uh, please and consider subscribing and there will be more uh, videos. Okay, will be uh, on their way. And if you do have any requests, um, you want some exercises to help with the certain problems, and uh, please send me a message, and so that I can I can work on uh, creating videos for uh, for you guys. All right. Well, anyways, and thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy this exercise and give it a try. And you try the first time watching the video and watching uh, the, how I do the movements, and then once you remember that movements and sequence, and now you try it. And the second time you try it without really watching the video, but I'd like you to pay attention to your own body and to your own sensation, because that's what makes a difference. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.